there's been a lot of talk about um, what makes surfers addicted at surfing. And I think it's, you're, you're forced to live in the moment when you surf. Um, it's such an intense feeling when you're riding a wave, but you, you, know, you can't think about anything else. And in that moment, it's such a pleasurable thing that um, you forget all your worries. You know, everything leaves you. It's like um, it's a free moment when you're riding a wave. I can't really explain why they're so addictive, but it's just it's a lovely feeling of goodness that it gives you. And you're riding a pulse of energy, so you're getting that energy through your body. It's quite a yogic experience, I think, riding the wave. You know, you've got to respect the sea, and I think uh, that's, that's part of it, actually, being out in, in the in the environment of the ocean. It's a very spiritual feeling because you're with nature and the waves are embracing you. It's so intense, it feels like 20 seconds, but it may only be two seconds of intense You know, it's like aqua orgasm. <laughs> you know, it's it's just something that just hits you for the moment. I remember uh, last summer paddling uh, on a lovely glassy June day. There was no waves, it was really sunny. I was paddling towards the worm and this is a sort of experience you get when you're sort of out uh, in the ocean on your own or surfing, you know, it's just you feel vulnerable. I was within about 100 meters of the worm and I was paddling along, you know, going at quite a speed. All of a sudden I thought, whoa, what's that? A fin came up in front of my board and I realised it was a pod of dolphins. I stopped paddling and just cruised into them and a pod of dolphins went past my board and it was just, wow, you know, it's a wonderful experience and that's a, the sort of thing that, that happens to you and it's a very memorable moment, you know. And the dolphins were so close I could nearly touch them. So I sort of sat on my board, woo woo, you know, give a bit of a hoot with the worm in the background, it's just beautiful. Being a part of the late 60s and mid 70s surfing was a privilege which I didn't realise at the time was so important because everybody surfed just for the fun of it then and they were real purists from that era, you know? And a lot of the guys from that era are still surfing now, you know? And I just hope that the young people of today can really hook into the, uh, the spiritual side of surfing, for, you know, because that's what it's all about. being. Uh, Going, it's a relaxation surfing, not an aggression, you know? 
and I hear stories sometimes of uh, you know fights in the water I know in, in mainly in different countries but I fight I feel quite sad when I hear localism has come into play you know localism means people who surf on uh, their, their beach try and keep it for themselves any outsiders come in you know and they get aggressive let the tires down I think that's a real shame for surfing um, to go that way because that's not what surfing's all about but uh, in the early days it was all lovely you know and it is still lovely now but certain places you go and you can get a bit of a vibe you know Surfing for me has really pointed me in the right direction and given me a lot of things that, you know, I didn't realise when I started. Because when I started, my dad used to say, what are you going to do for a living? What are you going to do? You're just a beach bum, you know. And I said, well, I don't know. I'm just going to surf, you know. And, and I wanted to compete at that time because I wanted to travel the world. And I was successful in competitions. And that gave me that, you know, I was able to get in the British team. So I surfed, you know, around the world. And really you know for me it wasn't the money it was just something telling me you know to do it 